everybody welcome back to my channel <laughs> i am sincerely legenia and i am back with another keto recipe so guys in keeping with our theme this week which is baking all week i'm just gonna be putting stuff in the oven uh today we are going to be making fat head keto rolls and i've never tried these before so i'm gonna be baking them for the first time and i'm gonna take you guys along with me i got this recipe look at my computer um from sugar free mom Dot com. I saw the video, my mom actually tagged me in the video on uh, Facebook, and these rolls look so good. And I'm like, I've got to try that. So I was gonna try today, and I thought, well, let me go ahead and do that on camera, and let you guys see these keto fathead rolls. It's made with cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, um, and a lot of good stuff, and it uses coconut flour only. So, um, all right, just sit back and watch this video, and I'm definitely gonna let you know how good it tastes. But before we get into the video, go ahead and click the subscription button. If you are new to my channel and you wanna keep seeing more of these videos that I'm putting up, then go ahead and click the subscription button, click the notification bell, and don't forget to like my video, uh, give it a thumbs up, and leave me a comment below and let me know that you were here. I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get into this video. First things first, I've got my oven set at 425 degrees. Okay guys, I'm gonna be trying a different angle for my videos, my video today. So um, if you don't like this angle, let me know. Okay, but I'm gonna try this out and see, see how it works. We're gonna begin with four cups of mozzarella cheese. Okay, this already sounds amazing right now. Four cups of mozzarella cheese, what? Let's see. All right, four cups of mozzarella cheese, put it into our bowl. And four ounces of cream cheese. And I have exactly, I mean, it's, it's really great. I have exactly four ounces of cream cheese left. I always keep cream cheese in the refrigerator and just got back from the store and forgot to buy cream cheese. And a couple other things I forgot to buy too. So anyway, all right, we've got this in a bowl and I'm gonna put it in the microwave for two minutes or until it's melted just so. just got our mozzarella cheese and cream cheese out of the microwave. So I'm gonna mix this together. All right, that's been mixed together. I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, so for our dry ingredients, I'm going to first combine one cup of coconut flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, one half teaspoon of dried basil, fourth of a teaspoon of dried parsley, fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder, fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, one half teaspoon of salt, and then we're gonna whisk this together. And now after we've whisked it together, we add our egg that we've beaten. And this I'm going to stir together. All right. So we're now going to add our egg mixture with our egg and dry mixture with the cheese that we had. And we're gonna mix this all together. Okay, I've got my sheet pan here and I'm gonna spray it lightly with some cooking spray. And then we're gonna add our rolls. All 
Okay, we've got our dough all ready and I'm gonna put it into the oven at 425 degrees for approximately 15 minutes. All right, y'all, so I'm a little hungry right now, so I'm gonna make me a little snack of cucumbers and tomatoes and I'll put that together with some um, everything but bagel seasoning that I get from Trader Joe's. It is so yummy. If you hadn't gotten that stuff yet, guys, you need to try it. So I'm gonna make me a quick snack while wow, those rolls are in the oven. I usually leave some of the peel on. It's something like it's supposed to be good for you or there's nutri nutrients in it or something. I don't know, but uh, I'm just used to doing that. So I'm just gonna leave it on. <laughs> I don't know. Is there supposed to be nutrients in, in that? Something that's extra good or something, guys? If you know. Leave me a comment below and let me know, okay? Just a small snack, just a small snack. So that one cucumber will do it. And then one aroma tomato, I'm gonna slice it up too. And just cut it into little cubes. with me I always cut off the ends and I'm sure they're perfectly edible but for whatever reason I just feel like I need to cut the ends off you know I don't know what that's about but I will I cut off my ends a little bit of salt I think everything but bagel seasoning, seasoning actually has salt in it but um so guys I have my everything but the bagel seasoning that I get from Trader Joe's I love this stuff, it is so good. I love it. And I put a pretty liberal amount on there. Mix that up. And I've got me a delicious little snack while my rolls are cooking. All right. Mmm. No. This bagel seasoning. Everything but the bagel seasoning. It's so good. If you don't have a Trader Joe's, we just got one less than six months ago. Um, but if you don't have a Trader Joe's in your area, order it online. It's so good. And it's so worth it. So yummy. So I'm going to finish munching on this and I'll be back as soon as those fat head rolls are ready. Okay. See you in a little bit. <laughs> Okay guys, the timer just went off, so let's check on our fat rice. So let me turn that off, see what they look like. Ooh, yes, they look good. And yes, they are done. Let's get them out the oven. They smell amazing. I mean, they smell fabulous. They smell fabulous. All right, so they look really, really good. Um, they're a little too hot for me to deal with right now. They're really hot, but I want to taste it right now. Let's see what that back side looks like. Okay. It's kind of bad. A little more brown than I would like it. Let's, let's see what it tastes like. Okay, guys, trying to come up with a creative way where you guys can see me and the food. Okay. So, anyway, I just got our keto uh, fat head rolls out of the oven. They smell amazing. Look at that. And they look amazing. <laughs> Don't they look good? Okay, so uh, it's time to taste them. <clears throat> okay, so let's pop one of these bad boys open. Can you all see? about cheesy. Mm. 
I was scared it was gonna taste like egg. This is good. It's full of flavor. Very, very cheesy. I mean, when you consider the amount of cheese we put in them, but oh yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. This is good. Very good. Very, very good. Mm. How about the rest? I have a few tomatoes left from my snack. Those cucumbers were amazing. Mm. Mm, my tomato. That was good. Mm. But these fat head rolls are delicious. Mm -hmm. This is another one for the books. Well, you all, the keto fat head rolls taste delicious. They are definitely something I'm going to make again. So I hope that uh, you guys get a chance to try it and let me know what you think. Again, I got this recipe from sugarfreemoms.com. I'm gonna leave the link to the original recipe in the description box. Um, thank you guys for joining me today. Again, don't forget to like this video, to comment, and if you are not yet a subscriber, subscribe. Do not forget to subscribe. <laughs> there is there's a scripture in the Bible that says, in all of thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct thy path. God is saying, acknowledge him in everything that you do and he will direct you. So that means even this diet, even this this better way of living, better way of eating. Acknowledge God and he will help us. And I am convinced, I'm convinced, number one, because I have experience and I know him for myself. So I'm believing God that he is going to help us to reach our goals. We've just got to do our part. So I'm hoping these videos are helping you guys to attain your goals, whether it be just to be a healthier person or if you want to shed some of those pounds. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.